Okay, happy Wednesday. I got a video for... I'm doing a ranking thing because I'm not feeling excellent. And when you're not feeling good, you shouldn't be evaluating gear because all your senses are slightly dulled. This is the Thea Audio Oracle Mark III. It'll be in today's video. If you comment below this video and you are a subscriber to this channel in the unbox, I'm going to pull somebody from down in the comment section and send this out worldwide. Shipping is on me. It was sent to me for free by Thea Audio. I will return. I tried to see if anybody on... Patreon was interested, nobody was. They snapped up the origin, but they didn't grab this, so now it goes to you guys. So good luck to you, and thank you for your support. Um, let me go ahead and put up a border. See it right there? That was a weak snap. Let's take a look to the left and look at the frequency response graph. Um, the audio, now that we get into 2024, almost 2025, has quite the stable. They've got a lot of really good stuff, and just for the record, I'll go ahead and say, in my opinion with my library, um, what I think are the five best sets that they make, and you probably already read it because it's at the top border. Let's start at the top on the right. I think my favorite would be the Origin. It's the newest. It's a quad grid. The tuning is excellent on it. It plays back my library very well. It's got a little added sauce because of the bone conduction driver that I believe that they kind of created themselves. Um, the tactile sensation is very subtle, but I feel like I can feel it, but that might be in my head. Um, but I would put that as number one. I think sound quality, I believe it's under $1,000 as well. And the performance and the, over, the tuning of it, um, I would put that as my favorite. The second would be what was my previous favorite for a while. Um, since it came out would be the Prestige LTD. That's a set that just doesn't really seem to do anything wrong. Um, it's got bass, doesn't have too much bass. Um, it plays my library back well. It doesn't seem to be um, eliminating any genres and it does everything very well. It's a really good set. The next one, number three, would be the Monarch MK3. The original Monarch is also on this list. The Monarch MK3 is the, like the ultimate version of that type of tuning. They gave it just enough mid bass to really take care of my library and uh, not really deviate too much from the Monarch series. So they all are kind of similar, slightly different, and the most difference being in the mid bass. I think the best version is the MK3. Number four would be the one that's on the table right here, which is the Oracle MK3. Um, that's a very good set, and I believe that that's about six, probably for the value, the Origin or the Oracle Mark III would be the best that you can probably get out of the Thea Audios. Um, it, it, like the Prestige LTD, does everything well. It's not um, excluded from playing classical music or hip-hop or anything like that. Um, like the OG Monarch, which is the next one I'm going to talk about. This is the first big hit that... Thea Audio released, and they came up with the tuning with the tuck mid bass, which makes the vocals very clean. You're starting to uh, negotiate with the rhythm section, uh, lacking with the kick drum a little bit, bass guitars somewhat, but it's it's very clean and it does stuff um, particularly well. So let me move down to the bottom left. If I were to pick two sets for each genre, just because. People say talking about genres and earphones is not a good thing. I think that's ridiculous because there are obviously things that I would pick to use for hip hop that I wouldn't use for classical. And that's because of the tuning. Um, so if I were to listen to hip hop and I would listen to 808 drops um, and four string, five string bass guitar samples, I would probably reach for the origin. I definitely would. And the uh, Prestige LTD. Because again, the Prestige LTD doesn't have the most bass. But, and also the Monarch MK3, I believe, graphs a little bit more, but I just think that the Prestige LTD uh, and the Origin do it better than any of the others that are mentioned today. Um, and these are my favorites, so, and the genres they go in. I would say the Origin and the LTD. Rock and roll, I would actually say probably it's the same, would be the Origin and the LTD again. Because the LTD doesn't really exclude itself from vocal-centric stuff or really vocals period male or female it does it well it's right kind of on the line for the drivers that they're using to play in shuffle and to go from a classical track to a female rock track to uh an 808 rolling hip-hop type jam so you don't really need to pay attention to the genres on that set moving into reggae it's really the, very similar to hip-hop it's almost not worth having it but i'll put it there anyway because it's i listen to a lot of reggae um 
it would be the Origin and the LTD again for the same reasons that they do hip hop well the rhythm section comes through clean um and everything else all the way in upper harmonics in the upper mids and treble are very clean and nicely done um as we get into classical music this is where it switches up a lot and this is where the very clean mids because of the lack of mid bass is actually somewhat beneficial to maybe the genre and that would be classical it sounds really good i should say jazz though i don't listen to that much if you really want the rhythm section out of the way, um, the the original Monarch is really a thing. Like I mentioned in the Deuce video, it really inspired the, mo the Moondrop variations, and in some ways that inspired the Deuce. Um, because the line between the rhythm section and vocals, and when that starts to get polluted or interfered with, to, people are sensitive to stuff. I'm sensitive to certain things, you're sensitive to other things. Like where is that? Um, the Monarch was a little bit too much on the thin side for me to listen to my whole library, but if we're talking about stuff that doesn't require 808 drops or a real prominent bass line, um, one of the cleaner replays is the, the OG Monarch. Um, it's quite a classic, actually. It's, a really, it's still a good set. It's the original, and I put it in the top five. You can see the graphs on the right. Um, that's it. So those are my five, the Origin, the Prestige LTD, the Monarch MK3, the Oracle MK3, and the OG Monarch. Um, the, the V16 is something a lot of people like. Um, I won't get into debating that. These ha just happen to be my favorites. That's it for today. Next video will be for a new set, um, and it might be another set that I'm climbing with. If you ordered the Deuce, thank you so much for your patience. I'm sorry that the release didn't go as smooth as I had hoped it would. Um, I wish I could be there and get it going, but I'm sure that I really wouldn't be able to make a difference. But for the record, I do apologize um, in the video. Thank you for your support. Sorry for the hassles. Um, if, if anything goes wrong, something's not in your order. I saw somebody in HeadFi. I, I screen capped that and sent that directly to Fat Frequency. So I'm sure they'll get on it and take care of it. If there's if there's QC issues or customer service issues with that set, because my logo's on it and I was we spent months on that go ahead and leave a comment below and tell me what that issue is and I'll try to help you work that out because I'm here from the beginning to the end with the project so let me know and again thank you for your support sorry for any interference or stress you're getting I uh this guy hates waiting so I know how that feels and I am out <laughs>